We are following some breaking news tonight on ABC 17 News at 6. Two former Cooper County Sheriff's Office employees have been charged with manslaughter and the October death of an inmate. The Jackson County Prosecutor's Office filed involuntary manslaughter charges against former Lieutenant Robin Pfeiffer and former Deputy Rachel Atherton in connection with Brooke Bailey's death in the Cooper County Jail. ABC 17's Morgan Burris joins us live from Cooper County now in Morgan. You spoke with Bailey's family members about these charges today. Lucas Megan, Bailey's family tells me they have been waiting months for these charges. The probable cause statement that I went through today said that Bailey's cause of death was diabetic ketoacidosis. And it says those former sheriff's office employees shrugged off her sickness. Brooke Bailey was originally sentenced to time in the Missouri Department of Mental Health, but was staying in the Cooper County Jail until a bed was available. On October 27th, she was found dead in her cell with blood and vomit on the floor and her clothing. It's disgusting, disgusting how anybody being another human being can treat somebody so disgustingly. A lieutenant and deputy at the time reportedly said Bailey was faking her sickness and told others at the sheriff's office not to take her to the hospital. It's just a shame something like this has to happen to anybody, much less her my daughter. So. Bailey's family hopes these charges ensure nothing like this happens again. You don't think it's ever going to get here, but it, this time it has, and hopefully that makes some differences in more than just my daughter's life. So We need to be more aware of mental health and how we help with mental health people and not just brush people off like they're nothing. The Cooper County Sheriff posted on Facebook today that his office will not be having any further comment on these charges. Reporting live in Cooper County, Morgan Burrish, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Morgan. If the two are found guilty, the Jackson County prosecutor says they could serve anywhere from three to ten years in prison and be fined up to $10,000.